Hey guys, I'm back to show off my fall fortune cookie soap box. Fortune cookie soap is a bath and body company that based out of Oklahoma. I they were probably my window into wax, I believe. I they do sell some wax cups, scent shots, and I tried them probably about two years ago and that kind of led me more into the wax world. Um, I really love Fortune Cookie Soap. They have some great Bath and Body products. I love their shampoo and conditioner bars. Their soap's pretty good. I like their bath products. They make bath salts, uh, bubble bath, bath bombs, all that great stuff. They're always trying to be in inventive and make new things like uh, cleansing oils, um, incense, things like that. They also have amazing hand sanitizers and lotion. That's probably what I love best from them. But honestly, they have so many things. So to go ahead and get started, they do a box. This is $19.99. It is a quarterly box, so you get one for every season. And it showcases their upcoming launch, the upcoming major launches. They do smaller launches in between that you could find from going on their website or following their group page. But this is a way to sample all the scents that are going to be in the main launch and some of the products. And this also comes with a $10 code that can be used on any order of any limit. So you could do $10 off of a $10 order and just pay shipping. So in a way you can consider paying $10 or whatever. I still consider it $20 because that is what I pay. And then I just keep my coupon for whenever I place an order. So this month's theme was the Princess Bride. Now this holds a special place in my heart because one of my best friends took his life uh, about a year and a half ago and one of the movies he used to beg me to watch was Princess Bride and I never had and for some reason I feel like I can't anymore because it's the one last thing I'm holding on to that could be something special for me to watch one day so I haven't watched it yet and I don't have any plans to. So when I saw that Princess Bride was going to be the theme for this, it just made my heart melt. Um, so I probably won't get a lot of references or anything like that um, like I usually do with other boxes. I know the summer box was Finding Dory themed. Um, they've had Alice in Wonderland themed. Uh, Wizard of Oz themed. I mean, oh, my favorite one was the Christmas Vacation one. That was the first year I signed up. So they have really great themes. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I definitely advise you to sign up because Fortune Cookie Soap is awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what it looks like. I have been playing around with it a little bit, so it probably looked a little neater when I first got it, but it's very cute. It says, as you wish, welcome to the Fall Soapbox, their website, and then their Facebook group. There's also a fan group that I think is probably more fun than their actual company group. So this is the info card. It tells you, it gives you a picture of the product, tells you the name, what it is, and a little bit about it in the scent description. So let's just go in order. The first item here is the actual fortune cookie soap. This is Drop Your Sword. It says to the pain. Well, maybe not the pain, but at least you can rejuvenate your senses and challenge your adversaries with this Aromatic blend of medieval honey apple mead. Uh, my husband told me that mead is like some type of alcohol or something. I'm not sure. I love their fortune cookie soap. You get one in every single box um, of these boxes. And these are great for putting on, you know, your sink, your guest bathroom or main bathroom or whatever. Even if you don't use them, they're just adorable. So this is the design for this falls box, I guess. It's got the knife, little, I'm sorry, the sword going through it, and part of it is, partially of it, oh my gosh, part of the soap is dipped in glitter. I'm sorry I can't talk, guys. You also get a fortune cookie, or an actual fortune, and this one says the name of the fragrance. I love that it says Matthew 634, so if you want to look up that uh, scripture in the Bible, and the quote is, you warthog-faced buffoon. I don't get the reference but I'm sure you might now on to sniffing this is covered in glitter I kind of wish it wasn't for using it purposes because I know a lot of people don't like glitter but honestly I'm probably just going to use it as a decoration because it is very beautiful 
And this one smells really good. It It's like a clean, obviously that's from the soap, it's a clean scent, but it's like a fall apple scent, but without having that heavy apple or the pumpkin or spices that fall products tend to have when it's apple. I get the honey in it too. This is just like a really refreshing, clean fall scent. It's really nice. I would get pro uh, body products in that for sure. They also sell uh, foaming hand soaps, which I absolutely adore. So I will probably pick up a couple of those for the fall season. So next is Prepare to Die OCD Hand Sanitizer. Hello little germies, my name is Hand Sanitizer, Prepare to Die. A warm blend of fresh baked cookie dough spiced with clove and saffron. That'll clean all five or six of your fingers. I don't get the reference at all. <laughs> Uh, all right, um, and this is what it looks like. It's oh, it's gorgeous. It's got gold glitter inside of it, and I love their labels on stuff. It's really like the really nice stickers, and it's very colorful, and they're just really great. These are great to keep in your purse. I'm not gonna be able to smell it unless I put some on my hands, so that's what I'm going to do now. And my favorite thing about let me do this behind the camera about their hand sanitizers is they leave your hands so soft. My gripe with Bath & Body hand sanitizers, Bath & Body Works, is that they always left my hands like sticky and almost dried out feeling. And this stuff is like, almost like a lotion for your hands. It's amazing. Wow, what was the scent for that? Yeah, okay, so it's definitely a, um, like a light, spicy bakery scent. This would be great in wax, guys. That is really good, but look at the glitter. <laughs> I don't know if this is just because of this or also because I had glitter on my hands from the soap, so I can't say for sure, but I'm a girl anyway, I don't really care. It's kind of pretty, but wow. That's a really nice scent. Okay, next is Mostly Dead Whipped Cream Body Butter. Feeling dead to the world? Don't worry, Miracle Max has been seen worse and it just so happens that you're feeling all, only mostly dead. Golden honey drizzled over toasted almonds and pumpkin puree warmed with amber is just the aromatic miracle you're looking for. Think it will work? It will take a miracle. Okay, and that is this product here. It's like a cream color, almost like a light off orange color. It's got the lightest orange hue to it. That's what it looks like. The texture is just amazing let me see if I can show how this absorbs this doesn't sit on the skin it literally soaks into your skin it's amazing this one's really good I definitely get that pumpkin from it what else does it say was in here yeah you did get the nuttiness from the almond I'd say that's what you smell the most I'm not sure what amber smells like but this is a very earthy scent an earthy fall scent. That's nice. Inconceivable perfume oil. What could be more inconceivable than fall woods, black amber, and poached pears topped with whipped vanilla cream? It will have you shouting, inconceivable. I believe this is the perfume oil. No, that's not it. Okay. This is the perfume oil, little sample size, but honestly, these perfume oils will last you a while. So let's see what this was. Fall woods, black amber, pears, vanilla cream. Oh my gosh. That is a really great fall scent, you guys. I get the woods probably mostly, and then it, the, the pear, the pear in the woods. That is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my wrist. I mean, really, you don't need that much. You just do a couple drops, and you can put it on your pulse points. Wow, that is going to be amazing for fall. And this would be really good in a hand soap, too. I wish I had Smell-O-Vision so you could smell it, too. Mmm, it's just a really great fall scent. Okay, next is Mawage? Mawage? I don't know. Scented Cotton Ball. Mailage is what brings us to Gavua today. <laughs> oh, I sound like a nerd. A 
perfect marriage of rich pound cake scented with cardamom, pistachio, and rose water topped with creamy buttercream. That is. Okay. So I'm assuming this scented cotton ball is to go along with this cleansing facial oil, which is unscented, which I appreciate that they did that because if they hadn't, I'm sure a lot of people would have, you know, would not have been able to try it out. I'm sure it will come scented at the launch, but just so people can actually test the product itself. So this is the little cotton ball. Um, it's very lightly scented. Or it's hard to tell, I could be smelling, you know, the hand sanitizer or some of the whipped cream here or the, per you know, perfume oil on my wrist. I'm not really sure. Let me I'm gonna lay this on top of this and then try to smell it. Okay. It has a slight, just the littlest kiss of floral, and I'm assuming that is from the rose water. I don't really smell pistachio or cake. I would say the rose water is what I get the most. It smells like a like a bath product that you would have. It's like a lightly scented bath product. It smells pretty good. I'm sure, I mean, it's just a one-time use something you're going to put on your face. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know if I'd order any scents or any items in that because that's not, you know, the best scent ever. But it is what it is. Next is Pit of Despair Steam Me Up Scotty. And these are shower tabs. You just put them in the corner of your shower and let the steam from your shower um, ever, let the scent effervesce from it and it will scent up your shower. So this one says, you won't want to be rescued from this enticing blend of patchouli, fresh cut lemongrass, and tropical plumeria. And I love that they did this in the gold wrapper to go along with the green and gold. Their theme and packaging and everything is just always on point. So I'm not going to open up this all the way. I'll just show you kind of the bottom of it. This is what it looks like. Little tab. Wow. Wow. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the lemongrass is obviously what you get first, which it's toned down a bit by the patchouli. And I can't pick out patchouli particularly, but you can just tell that something's cutting down that lemongrass scent. And the plumeria adds a kiss of floral. It's barely there, but I would say it's mostly a refreshing lemongrass scent. That'll be awesome for, you know, in the mornings you need to pick me up or something. Very nice. Next is Buttercup Shampoo. I believe, I don't know if they came out with the liquid shampoo already, or if this, but it's new to me. I know it's semi-new to them at least. They usually did shampoo bars, which I love. So I'm glad that they are doing shampoo, like liquid shampoo now. It says, from common to queen, or at least princess status, your hair will gleam like a crown after just one use. Candied rum wrapped with ripe fig, bergamot, vivid, vitivir? I don't know. Warm sandalwood and sweet vanilla musk. That is this little bottle here. That's really good. It's like a... It's funny. I'm wondering what I'm smelling first. It's not a fall scent that I'm smelling first, but I do get it. It must be that candied rum I smell towards the end. This is really hard to describe what I smell. Besides saying it just smells really good. I would get this in a hand soap for the bathroom and probably even like a, a body butter. It's a touch earthy, but it's also like a fall scent. That one's just really hard for me to describe. Next is True Love Facial Cleansing Oil. It says, this is true love. You think this happens every day? A sparkling blend of fresh... Oh. I'm sorry, guys. The cleansing oil is scented. It's the facial moisturizer, which is unscented. So I apologize for the mix-up. But um, a sparkling blend of fresh citrus, creamy jasmine petals, and a dash of sea salt. To use, pour a small amount into your hands, rub hands together until product turns a milky white, apply to face in circular motion, rinse and pat dry. And I love the 
I'm not sure what that is. Saffron in there? Maybe these are jasmine petals. It's gorgeous. I like how it moves. Okay. Okay, this is probably maybe my favorite scent from this whole box so far. That citrus is so good. Mm. The jasmine just gives that citrus another level. You can't, you know, you don't smell this and say that's a floral scent. I definitely get the citrus the most, but it just adds another depth to it. That one is really uplifting and beautiful. I like that they didn't do all leaves and pumpkin scents. Like these two scents here are very energizing and uplifting, and so... That's also something that's nice to have during the fall, just to kind of break that monotony of, you know, pumpkin and apple and, you know, candy corn or whatever comes out around fall. So this last item is called Night Cream Facial Moisturizer. This unscented moisturizer will stand watch all night and protect your skin from dryness and shrieking e eels. To use, apply a small amount to face and gently work in, avoiding eye area. I'm going to smell it anyway. Yeah, it's unscented. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm just going to use my... Oh, I got it a little bit. A tiny dab just to kind of see. It feels like a facial moisturizer. There's not too much to say about it. This is something I'll have to try. I'm going to have to use something to get that out of here because these nails are not going to work for that. But that... Oh, wait, and I also want to show off the box. They also included this really cute like uh, confetti at the bottom. I think this packaging is adorable. That is the Fall Fortune Cookie Soap box. I'll leave this open so you can see it. Um, like I said, this is $19.99 every three months. It's four times a year. And you also get a $10 code. They ship the code to you. Um, or I'm sorry, not ship it. They email it to you. They used to include it. Let me just double check. It's not on the back. Yeah. They used to include it on the back. Um, but for whatever reason, maybe because it kept getting lost, they decided to start emailing it. So I haven't received mine yet. I may need to contact them and ask. Uh, might have went to my other folder. But... Uh, their customer service is great, so even if you did have a problem, it's no trouble at all. The launch for this box and these items, which they're going to have way more, a ton more, um, is August 26th at 6 p.m. Central Time, in case you're interested. And, yeah, if you are interested in this type of thing, or maybe you've heard of them before and you weren't sure if you wanted to bite the bullet, I, I truly recommend it. Um, I... I had to cancel after my spring box because uh, they my bank issued me a new credit card and they tried to process it for the summer box and it didn't go through. It's a little difficult to try to change that kind of information through them because you have to go to a certain website and do it. So I decided just to cancel and I was going to re uh, to sign up again, resubscribe with my new card. And I totally forgot and so I missed out on the summer box and I'm still bummed about that. I didn't order anything from that launch because I didn't get to smell any of the smells, but from scent description alone, it sounded totally up my alley. Um, I don't know if I'll order too much from this launch, only because I really don't need anything right now. I'm probably going to pick up some hand soaps and maybe a um, shampoo bar. Probably I'll pick up one of those because I think I'm about to run through mine. I have a little sample of one from the spring box. Um, but yeah, that is the Fall Fortune Cookie Soap Box. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.